The first thing is create a burning platform. Uh, you guys, this is important. This is important. This is something we really need to do. This is important for you. This is important for us. This is important for our children. This is important for the future. Leaders have that ability to look into the future and show that glimpse to the audience. Implementation of successful strategy yeah. uh, sometimes needs major changes. Yeah. And uh, in organizations, especially healthcare, uh, implementing a strategy may mean changing the culture. Um, how, uh, how do you implement um, the change in culture? Yeah, you know, uh, and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna uh, you know, say a, a, a quote from uh, Peter Drucker. Uh, Peter Drucker was uh, uh, a professor of business at Harvard University, uh, another great institution, uh, where uh, he said that culture eats strategy for breakfast. In other words, bring on the best of the best strategy. You know, you can have uh, a strategy that is made by a strategic officer and gone through permutations and finalized, you know, the best of the best policy. Bring it on. Okay, bring it on. And culture of how people live, how what they believe in, how they conduct their daily business, that that layer is going to fail that two seconds. And, and you early made, uh, earlier during this interview, you made a point about the strategy officer and leader. And that's where leadership comes into play. Leaders recognize this important point that culture needs to be changed too. And they do that uh, carefully and they do that slowly. And the first thing they do is, uh, is the change needed? You bring in a strategy. You 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 want to okay. you you want to change something. Don't bring strategy just to change. Ask the question: Do you need that change? And if the question, if the answer is yes, we need that change, then the first thing is create a burning platform. Uh, you guys, this is important. This is important. This is something we really need to do. This is important for you. This is important for us. This is important for our children. This is important for the future. Leaders have that ability to look into the future and show that glimpse to the audience to say, I understand your culture is right now this, but in the future, we're going to need a little bit different uh, picture and that uh, I'm going to show you that and then uh, set the vision. This is how it will be. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, create a small core group of people who are invested in that, in that change and start talking to people. Include everybody. And, uh, and right off the bat, I can share with you that every time you implement a change, there are three groups. Early adopters, 30%, 33%. You tell them that this is what we want to do, and they say, yes, we're on it. Then there's a middle group, wait and see, about the same, 33 36%. And then there's a, another 30% hardcore resistors. I would say uh, that we've got to focus on all of them. All are important. Those who oppose us are actually important because they tell us what's wrong with us. Mm -hmm. We've got to listen to them. So uh, managing that way, slowly uh, establishing early wins and sharing that, look, we're, we're headed in the right direction. This is what we need to do. So change implementation, change leadership, change management. It's all job of the uh, of that leader. 